In this tutorial, we're going to use Beat Detective to generate bars and beats from an existing audio file region. I'm going to begin by dragging our shaker loop here to bar 8. And as you can see and as you will hear, the shaker is at a different tempo than the session tempo. All right, I will use Beat Detective to analyze the transients in this pattern and to generate a tempo map based on that. So I'll highlight the selection and I'll go to Event, Beat Detective, or I can use Apple 8 on the numeric keypad. And the way Beat Detective works is it analyzes transients. It sees how far apart they are in time and it can uh, create a number of different kinds of templates and tempo controls and edits. So we're going to start with the bar beat marker generation. So first off, I'm going to select how long I would like this selection to change the tempo. I'd like it to change the tempo of measure 8 to measure 9 so that this loop fits exactly in that one measure. So I would actually type the measure 8 and measure 9. That will be where the new tempo map will conform to. Next, I want to analyze this for transients. So once you've selected this and opened Beat Detective, if you click Analyze, it actually takes a look at the transients. And at first, you won't see anything until you bring up the sensitivity slider. And you'll start to see some of the transient markers come in. The higher the sensitivity, the more refined it's following the transients, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. All I would like is the tempo at each quarter note beat. So I'm going to make the sensitivity fairly low, like that. For something like this, a very clear rhythmic pattern, this should work well. And once I click Generate, you'll note that a whole new tempo map shows up. And bars 8 through 9 will go a little slower to match this audio file. This asked me if, if I'd like things to move around that I've already pasted in, and I, I'm going to say no. And notice now there's new tempo marks here, and this seems to fit exactly in the one measure. Basically slowed the sequence down. So let's hear how this sounds. All right, so I've matched my session tempo at this moment to the tempo I deduced from my audio file. 